walk in? Sure. Chirping. Or, I, mama. Mama's flying. Mama's flying. She was distressed. Of course. Go off of something over there and float it over there. Yesterday, I had the amazing experience of witnessing the rescue of a baby osprey. I was able to contact the organization uh, that took in that baby osprey. They're called A Place Called Hope here in Connecticut, and they rescue raptors, uh, all birds of Ray here. Christine Cummings, the founder, has agreed to show me around the place and I'm really excited to be here today. We ate two big fish. I was thrilled. Aww. And we'll do that again before it gets dark. Um, I heard yeah, the from... The fisherman tried to give him a fish, but he was yeah, like... Yeah, no, he's a baby. And he's no. Like, human, mm -hmm. he humans like, no don't way. feed me. Right. Yeah, he was not happy. But I'm really happy that he actually ate. Hey. And I'll do it again this afternoon because um, I heard from Daryl, the guy that's repairing the platform, and apparently it should be done by late today. What I'm going to oh, do is put up the platform, re erect the platform, put up a box, and put some wood chips in it. Okay. He's so close to fledging at this point. I see. So you're not going to keep him here necessarily until he is able, he's, he's flying. Going, as far as I know, he's going home tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah. See, birds are best raised by birds. We're not about keeping babies until they're flighted. He needs to learn everything from mom oh. and dad. So he needs to go home. So, so I'm here with Darrow, and we are going to, going out on a boat, and we're going to take this baby back to his parents. I've been helping just, with uh, the rescue of the osprey. I just like animals. <laughs> but a friend of mine was fishing and he said he heard the chirping and he walked over and he called me and I came down immediately. Uh, I arrived at the same time that Dan Ferrier, who was a, uh, a, 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 a Audubon Society gentleman, showed up and uh, we kind of both got him off the nest and uh, Dan took him to a place called Hope where he's been for the past couple days. He's um, healthy. Yeah. He flew actually a couple times in the big cage they have there, which is great. So he's ready to fledge. And uh, the mom and dad were here this morning on, on the dock out there. I don't see them now. I'm sure they're just flying around looking for food. But we'll get them back out there. We have an awesome vessel that someone volunteered and um, we're heading there now. Yeah. Put the bird back, we're gonna put the bird back, gonna put the bird back. <laughs> We just picked up a friend. This is the fisherman who uh, found the osprey, actually, in the back. Joe's the fisherman we met yesterday. This is the guy who... Well, Kai, it was a group the, effort. It was a group effort, it was, it was effort. but you were the, one of the first to hear Something the, the chirping and the crying, and you had to find the source of it, and you did. The baby's here. In yeah. this area of Connecticut right that are affiliated and take effort to get together and we all have the same mission. Yeah. But this is it. We're literally backing up right now to the nest. Look at this. Check it out. We're gonna back right up to this pile. We're gonna put that box right on top of there. We're gonna put the baby in it. And then it's gonna be a happy reunion. <laughs> Oh,
all the way back there is where that nest floated. It's far. All these guys and gals like this is just awesome and this just goes to show you how much compassion people really have this is all to rescue one baby osprey there are really good people in the world and I just want to remind everyone that uh, when you look for the compassion in the world you'll absolutely find it Like that. This is what it's all 